Hello, you, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play. <laughs> yeah, I want to say Star Wars Jedi Survivor, but no. Uh, to The Witcher 3. Yeah, The Witcher 3, man. To The Witcher 1, where we have to do a little bit. Oh, holy moly, dude. Dudes, dudes, dudes. Die already. Now, I wonder, didn't I swallow? Why? Ah, okay. Because it's a different stack. Alright, so the number displayed there was correct. I was under the impression last episode of the episode before that there was a number. And then I couldn't find it. Now I know. Oh boy, that was actually way too close, man. What was a little, a little, little bit nasty then at the beginning that you were shot by the um, crossbow or the archers? That was nasty. Damn it! I almost thought she'd be getting up again! The second arrow penetrated her heart. She didn't have a chance. And they said White Rayla had no heart. Let's go. It'll be safer further on. Alright. Yes, she had a heart. Luckily. Well, somebody died, right? I don't know if you can say luckily or not. This looks like a cemetery. We need a new armor. I want to have a new armor. I'll lead the survivors to the Druid's cave. They can mourn the dead there. Thanks for everything. I'm sorry, Zoltan. I'm grateful you saved some. Yeah. All right, new entry, location, Swamp Cemetery, quest done. I think, oh no, oh no, oh no. I don't like what I see right here. Oh, my God. 
Oh, I cannot. Okay. Yeah, that damaged me more than I hoped. I'd have to say the intensity of fighting increased um, immensely, man. Witcher, are you all right? You arrived just in time. I am Jacques de Aldersberg, Grand Master of the Order of the Flaming Rose. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. I have heard much about you, and know of your deeds, from a very trustworthy source. Explain, please. <laughs> Geralt of Rivia asking me for explanations? He who so generously lavishes his wisdom upon others. Forgive me for not laughing, I just didn't get the joke. I don't intend to explain. Unlike you, I am one to act. I want to laugh when I recall your pseudo-philosophical reflections. Witcher, only time can teach us. Only with perspective can one understand what is right. Who is human? Who a monster? What is evil? And how to overcome it? I'm in no mood to guess. So why don't you just tell me what made you so bitter? Otherwise we should part. Forgive me, I can get irritable. No, they sometimes tell me of your deeds. And though I don't approve of them all, I'm always genuinely interested to hear them. And how did I earn the interest of the Grand Master of the Order of the Flaming Rose? I like to know what goes on in Temeria. It helps me appear in the right place at the right time. Mm hmm Incidentally, thanks for your help. Though you're not human, every knight's duty is to aid those in need. An element of our vocation. Beautiful words, yet hollow when the cries of the murdered are in the air. I understand. They don't apply to elves and dwarves. You're mistaken. The Order's oath is clear and bright. Every knight swears to enforce the law. You cannot deny the non-human uprising is directed against the state. The Order was formed to uphold the law, maintain peace, and ensure our survival from the approaching White Frost. Vizima was erected on elven foundations. We both know that is immaterial. I regret what's happening, but the non-humans took up arms. There is but one way to save the world from annihilation. Your way, you mean. Do you know anything about the Order? The Order is an idea. From its foundations to its pinnacle. Our mission. Our vision. Our objective is a new world. A new order that will come after the White Frost. A world in which all will get what they merit, not by birth or through connections. A world where the strong help the weak, and crime is duly punished. A world of clear principles and ideals. You must know, anyone can join, be they peasant, merchant, even witcher. Knights collect no payment, and are promoted for great deeds. And you'll decide who will be awarded the honor of living in an ideal world? That's demagogy. Words that conceal a lust for absolute power. After all, you will have to bring those who stray back onto the path. No, Jacques. I'll pass on a paradise like that. I hope when the time comes, you'll understand. Don't let me keep you, but I don't like to owe favors. You've paid your debt. I don't understand. You owe me nothing. Our rest is over. Fall in! Farewell. All right, what a strange. I'll lead them to the druid's cave. Take care of yourself. 
Yeah, alright. I need to go on. Yeah, buddy. Exactly what I intend to do, but thank you for the ride. Until yeah. next time. Yeah, okay, good. I just we'll want to finish this conversation there. Yeah, whatever. And yes, something I forgot. Safe again. Always good. You know, a little bit of a downside in the swamps here with the watery parts. You are not able to see the bodies on the ground. Alright, so we have to actually decide now for crest. So I need to go on, alright. Fist fight armor. Why don't we see the Raven Crypt first? I am under the impression that this is something quite important to do. Nasty buggers, but easy to kill buggers, right? There is another. Two, there are two, not one. Two. Hello, boys. I don't know. Is he dead or did he just? They are dead. Okay, at least this one is dead. All right, then the other one I assume is as dead. I just and need to actually orient. Oh boy, I hate those. I don't know. These are not only because they are bloody ugly, but these are one of the enemies I don't really like because you actually need to be quite careful since they tend to explode, right? Hello, buddy. Okay, I thought he uh, just disappeared like... I think the other one disappeared. I don't know. That's the only explanation I do have. Probably he... I just didn't find the dead body in the water. That is quite possible to remain got that I am gonna take over refugees cave okay let's go in there and see what they have to say um, I have to hope that I there am able to if I find a way in to have a campfire where I do not need to use flint Alright, cave entrance, but guys, that then is already for now the end of today's episode. And you know it, I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. Um, do you, If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, then please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully I see you in the next episode. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful day. Stay frosty. Bye.